If you've been woodworking for long, I don't even need to tell you that it can be difficult to lift full-size sheets of plywood up onto a table saw for cutting them down. The sheets are heavy, bulky, and sometimes they're even flimsy. You have to steer the cut carefully on the infeed side, catch it on the outfeed side so that it doesn't fall off, all the while maintaining your own balance and watching the rip fence to make sure that your cut stays on course. So when I need to rip down full-size sheets of plywood like this, I don't even start at the table saw anymore. Instead, I break the big stuff down at the floor where gravity can work with me rather than against me. And in order to protect both my plywood and the floor, I use this two inch rigid foam insulation board that you can find at any home center in four by eight sheets. I split the sheet in half so that it's easier to store here in the shop and that way I can use one piece of the foam when I need to break down a four by four sheet of plywood or both pieces of foam for cutting up full size sheets. Now to use the foam, just set your saw blade as deep as you need to to cut all the way through the plywood in one pass. And don't worry the least bit about your saw blade. The foam is harmless to it. Just go ahead and make the cut. This rigid foam board works great for this purpose. And I really can't say enough good things about it. Now it is a little bit expensive on the front end at about $40 a sheet. But as you can see by all of the kerf cuts here in my foam, I've used it over and over again so it lasts for a long time. And this method of cutting up your plywood at the floor is a safe and effective way to maximize your yield and do it accurately without it being a balancing act at the table saw. So if you haven't given this method a try, I definitely recommend it. Now if you like tricks like these, you can see all of our video tricks plus lots of other more on the web video content by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.